So how are things going with Mrs. Anderson? She's a little hard-headed, but I think we're going to work it out. We're going to need her parcel. And the Lewis place next to her. Points 120 acres right in the middle of the whole development. It should have been me. The jail, not you. It should have been me. Can you forgive me? Hey, Sam. It's me, Billy. Wish I could be there to split all that money with you, but I guess if you're listening to this, then it's all yours now, right? He's here. I heard him. When? Last night. Well, you deserve it, man. I mean, being in prison all that time because of me. What's your name? Sam. Hey! <laughs> I wonder which way I'm headed. Get out of the truck. You're scared my children. Leave him alone. Who the hell are you? I'm the parking at them. Who are those guys? Who the hell are you? Yeah, what's your name, friend? I know your financial situation. You might not be able to make your payments. And if you can't make your payments, the bank will be forced to foreclose. That's because you bought into the bank. One little woman in the middle of a wheat field. And what is she doing? She's fucking us up. Sam, Sam, something's wrong. Oh, the gas tanks! They're gonna go! Get back! You're not from around here, are you? Don't get caught, you understand? Another way up or down, I guess I got a 50-50 chance of meeting Elvis, huh? <laughs> How do you like that suit I picked out for you? So, oh, Lonnie Poole, what did you find out about it? Gladdy, I thought it might be easier talking to you on Ted. But now I'm not so sure. Thank you.